What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to test and destroy a voxel world after creating it in Unreal Engine 5. If you don't know what voxel is or how to generate a voxel world in Unreal Engine 5, I'd recommend checking out one of our other videos. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so step one is to start a new third person or first person project in Unreal Engine 5. Both of these options work fine, just note that if you decide to use the third person template, there are a few more steps involved. Also, as an obvious prerequisite, make sure you have the Voxel plugin installed. Okay, after you open this project, I like to delete the starting area, it makes things look a lot cleaner. Next click Activate Voxel Editing Mode at the top. Click Yes, and then Add Voxel World. Sculpt a quick environment. Then click play. Save your work. At this point you can't destroy your environment, but we'll fix that shortly. First go to world settings. If you don't have this box showing, you can toggle it by going to window, world settings. In the box directly below Game Mode, click the box and select Cubic Destruction Game Mode. Next, you should click the drop down arrow and make sure Cubic Destruction First Person Character is selected. This gives you a first person character pawn that is able to destroy your voxel world. If you started with a first person project, you should be able to click play and start destroying the world with your gun. At this point, you should be good to go. Make sure and stay tuned though, because I'll show you how to edit a few settings in this world as well. If you started with a third person character, you should now delete your character. If you click play at this point, you should spawn with a gun, but if you try to fire the gun, nothing happens. To fix this, navigate to voxel content, examples, cubic destruction, cubic destruction first person character and open that up. This is where all the juicy stuff is contained. If you want to experiment with different functionality, this is the place to do it. Next, find the input action fire node. Delete this and replace it with left mouse button. You should now be able to fire your gun. Compile and hit play. Now start blasting your destructible environment. Notice how the cubes that spawn are massive and are in large quantity. This pretty much just rapes your RTX 2070. To fix this, navigate back to the Cubic Destruction First Person Character Blueprint. Find this for loop. This controls how many cubes will spawn. Let's change this to 50. Now let's change this division node from 100 to 300 to decrease the size of the cubes. Now your RTX 2070 is not being raped. And now you can start developing your destructible world. Alrighty, that's going to be it for this video. In exchange for helping you out with this, all I ask is you check out one of our other devlogs. We are working hard at developing games and every view means a lot to us at this point. So thank you for watching and peace out.